हेलो एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ डीजी शिपिंग सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टर्म्स लाइक इंडॉस एस टी सी डब्ल्यू एस आई डी सी डी सी ऑल द थिंग्स इन सिक्वेंस सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अबाउट इंडॉस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट इंडॉस गो थ्रू फर्स्ट वीडियो सो वट विल बी द नेक्स्ट आफ्टर इंडॉस दैट इज एस टी सी डब्ल्यू सो सम पीपल आर थिंकिंग यार दिस कोर्स इट इज रियली हैक्टिक After five years, it is expired. After five years, it is expired. Going on selling, coming after that, doing this course, advanced course, many things. So why it is said by IMO? So I'll define you in this video. So let's begin. What is STCW? STCW stands for International Convention on Standard of Training Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarer. Watchkeeping certificate for Seafarer. So it is the certificate given by DG Shipping that they are approving. Ha, huh, this person is. Uh, eligible for being a seafarer the aim of stcw is to ensure that seafarers trained and certified under its design can meet the challenges that the shipping industry will be facing in the future so if fire happen on board so who will teach stcw will teach what will be your action when abandon ship happen who will teach stcw will teach so be take uh, take serious this course and please be responsible on ship with stcw course so let's move ahead Documents needed for doing STCW course. What are the documents needed? First is our passport, and another one is endorse certificate or endorse number. If you having endorse number, means you having passport also. That's only you are able to generate this. So you need endorse number. So move ahead. Who is the issuing authority of STCW certificate? So D C P I approved M T I is responsible for conducting classes for STCW course as well as generating STCW. certificate also so from where you will get to know which college is approved by dg shipping so who will tell much and every decoded will tell in this series so let's move ahead how to book for stcw courses so every mtis have their website just visit it if you are this is for open cd candidates not for close cdc those who are doing pre cd training course so mti is responsible for the uh, basic training safety training course which is bst with stsdsd which comes under stcw only so this slide is totally for who are going for open cdc and those who wants to do for octo course and many thing which is not available in their mti for them also so do you have to visit their website so which mti website you have to visit so who will tell you we will tell you Here we are taking example of HM HMI Kolkata, which is approved by DG Shipping. So you have to visit their website. They are approved by DG Shipping only. So create your user ID and upload your documents, whatever they are needed. They will verify your documents. Then they will tell you about the time slot for STCW course through email. Then pay their fees and follow the further instruction given by them. Fees is depend on the MTIs only. Before booking your course, ensure that MTI is approved by DG Shipping for that particular course. So, who will tell you? Much and every decoded will tell you. So, let's move ahead. Important instructions points to be noted that before booking your STCW course, make sure your endorse profile is updated properly with a name as per passport, signature, and latest photo with white background with 75 percent face coverage. So, you have to visit this link. I am going to provide in the description box two twenty dot one five six dot one 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 eight eight dot two two nine. You have to log in through your endorse and your password. Then after you will get interface like this where verify profile photo, change endorse profile photo. You are you are able to change it. You are able to change a signature also. So change your photo and the signature which is updated one because when you will stand in front of camera in terms of attendance. so they are not able they are able to verify with the updated one only okay if it is not matching you will get absent so if absent i'll tell you what will happen to you so let's move ahead tier of the courses so it is divided in three tiers first is e learning module second is offline cl classes and third is exit exam so we will we are going to define all the three tiers in this video only so let's move ahead first know about the duration of the course and fees so according to hmi kolkata as i already told you if you are going for pst fpf psr which is comes under stcw bst course basic safety training course uh, combined that is the duration should be 12 days and fees will be 10179 rupees including exit exam fee exit exam fee means one term fee only if you fail again you have to pay 300 rupees then stsd sd course which is about two days duration and rupees will be 2194 with 
one time exit exam fee. So let's move ahead. What is e-learning module? I, as I already told you, the first year is e-learning module. For that, you have to visit www.dcping.gov.in. Please learn this website because it is going to will be your father website or father bookmark of your uh, Google Chrome or whatever the web browser you are using as a seafarer. This will be the first website. Okay. Then after you will get this interface. Here you will get home, about us, act as rule. As I already told you, we are going to define all the portal. What is in it? In this DC thing series only, you have to click on e-learning portal. E-learning portal, you will get two options, competency course and modular course. So you have to click on modular course. Move ahead. When you will when you'll click on, so move ahead. Then after you will get interface like this, where they have written Sabka Saath, Sabka Bikas with Modi ji and this one will be the box at right side of the uh, computer where you will get this enroll now button when you will click on enroll now you have to register yourself for that particular course so you have to fill your indos your dob and course name then captcha get enroll your course on the e-learning module if you are going for fpff just select your course here then efa then other things then then next next so after that you will receive a confirmation email for from e-learning module that you have successfully registered for particular course and minimum e-learning hours. So how much hours you have to give to them for studying or for spending on that for completing e-learning time then only you are able to move further for assessment exam. One more assessment exam is also there. I will define you in this video only. Then you will get box at the last where they have mentioned your endorse number, your full name, your DOB, your phone number, your username. This is the username for your e-learning module and they will create password on their own only. You are not able to create password on your own. So just remember this password. You will receive an username and password on that mail only. What is registered on Indos. Then after again you have to come on this portal. You have to click on e-learning portal on DGS website. Then after you will get uh, two options modular courses and advanced courses. You have to click on modular course. Then after this box will come. You have to give your username and password, then captcha, then sign in. Then after they will give a time, which is they have written that we have allotted a dedicated time for your facial recognition. I told you they will verify by your updated photo. Please try between 11.9 to 11.14 and time is now 11.04. So uh, after 5 minutes, they will take facial recognition for you. Then they will allow you for doing the course for e-learning module then after five minutes you will come you have to come again and you have to fill all the your credential username password everything then after you will get this uh, facial recognition at your dedicated time slot and get your facial verified as per your indos then after a new interface you you your enrolled courses the list will come open your courses and complete the minimum hours required for the courses then if you will complete this course then 100 percent bar will come then you have to click and you have to study here only you have to click on this bar only and then after you have to spend your time on this don't spend time please study here okay then after after completing your 12 hours 24 hours how much the time it is then this 100 percent bar will come then you are able to access the assessment click when you will click on this assessment button then after you have to give assessment you have to pass this exam and the number of attempts is unlimited so no worries about the attempts when you will fail in this exam uh, then you have to give uh, an, again if you not pass in this exam at the at the end also if you not pass in the exam at the end also then you are not able to move further for second year or for third year so you need to pass this or if you move for second year also you are not able to give the exa exit exam at the last so you have to pass this exam so please study, please do the quizzes, what are the given in the portal only, on the course only. Here if you click on this and study, start studying, after some page, chapter chapters, they are given one quiz. If you completed that quizzes, you are able to easily crack this exam. It's for sure. So number of attempts is unlimited. So no worries about the attempts, pass this exam, then move ahead. That is offline classes. After doing first year, that is e-learning module, you are able to get offline classes access 
then every day facial attendance is required at the MTI as I already told you for BHT it is 12 days so 12 days attendance is necessary and it's not like that that you have done first day like on Monday I have done facial attendance then on Tuesday absent Wednesday I am again doing no you have to do continuous 12 days okay from Monday to Saturday then after Sunday is holiday then Monday again so if you miss a single hour I am telling I told day but what is written here that if you miss a single hour of the class also then you have to book the course again you have to do the course again you have to pay 10,000 rupees again you have to pay 2,000 rupees again so don't miss it if you are not well don't go for classes just book the classes after just visit just clarify yourself there i am free from everything then only i am going to do these courses because if you are absent if you are going to absent on the same things then uh, you spend your you lost your money also you lost your time also so move ahead then after exit exam after completing second year now you are eligible for exit exam and the candidate is bonded to give exit exam from registered computer or device of the same mti same mti means where you have give you have done your uh, second tier that is offline classes like from HMI if you done from HMI registered computer only which is registered by DC sitting that computer is only access for giving this exit exam so on that only you are able to give exit exam so you have to visit on that computer only visit www.dcping.gov.in and click on that tab exit exam here you are getting exit exam portal you have to click on this then you have to give your after successfully login you have to login there also again with your endorse number only so after successfully login into the first in on the first page select your course and then click proceed after get login by your endorse then proceed click on proceed button then after you upload your photo once your photo once photo verification is done click proceed button again if photo verification is not done try for some more time and contact MTI if you are not able to get login there then try to contact MTI why it is happening in between the exam at least five photo will be taken and verified online without any indication so be please aware with this line that they are taking five photos five screenshot and verified online without indication here they are taking one photo online verification photo the, they are verifying the position of yours that yeah you, you are sitting on this position if you are doing like this this so they are going to make you fail during the examination do not minimize or browse any other window otherwise exam will be terminated fail result will be declared if once fail what will happen who will tell much and every decoded will tell so let's move ahead during the examination do not keep the window ideal for more than three minutes if you are if you don't know the answer just move ahead just click on any option and move ahead don't sit ideal for more than three minutes if you sit ideal for three minutes exam will be terminated means you are fail during the examination due to internal fa internet failure if the session out happens if power gone and internet gone that time the exam will be paused for maximum period of five minutes they are giving five minutes time for you just take the internet and list and again start it attempts all the question without fail and submit it if you just attempt all the question in the given time then result will be declared instantly if you just click on uh, submit then after only you are getting the result your fail or pass if result is passed then intimation will be sent to dg shipping and they will tell yeah this person is passed and they will tell mta to give certificate to them if the student fails if in case you fail who will tell much and every decoded will tell here only then next day through the mti called pay for reappearance what is 300 rupees and write that exam as above so what's the exam you have given again you have to give maximum three attempts one means first attempts you have already given and fail then again you you are getting one chance then after also one chance is there shall be given after the students have to redo the course if you fail for three times in the same exact subject then you have to do the course again so let's move ahead 
I hope you like this video. If you want more information like this, you need to visit our official website www.merchantnavydecoded.com and you need to click here on the first link itself. When you click this, you will find this type of interface. You have to go through course section. Here for beginner, for professional, you need to go through for professional. Here we kept our day shipping series. So you need to go through our free courses. We have kept it in for free only. So go through free courses and there are lot of free courses is there. GP rating to UK COC, second mate, exam guidance, DE savings and more going to come. So be with this series, free series in professional, you found DE savings series, our series. Just go through that and get information like this. So Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Madadi. If you are having any query, go through our Ask Your Query portal. Tap on this button whatsapp button you'll get the whatsapp number there itself and just put your query we solve your query much and every decoded will always be with you and jain jabhat jamatadi will meet you in the next video